What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Dre the Brute Daniels, and welcome to another episode of Brutal Rant. As you can see, I'm rubbing my hands with glee because we're actually going to be talking about something I'm legitimately excited for. We are going to be talking about today the Batman. Yes, Lord. Actually, that theme song is from the Batman cartoon that happened in the early 2000s, but whatever. Still all the same. The Batman. I. Um, I am excited for this film, which is rare, right? Um, the trailer, of course, dropped last week. And um, I, myself, early on, was very torn months and months ago about Robert Pattinson's Batman and all that stuff. But the trailer really actually got me legitimately excited to see this film. So I'm really eager to get into it. So um, without further ado, let's jump into it. So first, let's talk about Robert Pattinson as batman like i just said um initially i was very concerned because there was a whole lot of rumors about like him not wanting to bulk up for the role and and uh like the, the dates kept being pushed back and this and that and and i was just like oh boy just a, a whole lot of nonsense around this guy i'm like hey man just go back to twilight move on you know but uh but i was looking at his but if you look at his full body of work remove twilight praise the lord um he is quite an accomplished uh method actor um and i'm willing to really give him this chance to really really give him an opportunity like, not, not, like, not like i'm hiring him but like in my mind you know because like i still see him as you know the shiny vampire guy um but you know looking at some of his other um movies and when he's actually allowed to act he does a very very good job so um so i'm hoping that robert patton as well um the costume i like the costume it feels gritty it feels dirty it feels noir-esque so i'm i'm really i really like it i think it's cool and i loved how in the trailer they uh, showed the bulletproof and the bullets bounce off on me walk you know that's just some really cool tough guy stuff so i mean well good on the effects team for that so robert pattinson i'm counting on you brother um because of course i was still hung up on um of Ben Affleck, and because I thought Ben Affleck's run got cut short because of reasons, Warner Brothers, blah blah blah. But I still love Ben Affleck. But look, go for it, Robert Pattinson. Go for it, buddy. So let's talk about uh, Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. Uh, so when it was announced that Zoe Kravitz was going to be Catwoman, I didn't think nothing of it. I don't even know her work, honestly. All I know is that she's uh, uh, dang it, Lenny Kravitz's daughter. Is that is that is that it? Is that her? Cares. Is he? Whatever. Whoever she is. Um, I From the trailer, it, she looked like she got the whole femme fatale-esque feel to her. She's... She, I mean, she looks like she's gonna... She looks the part. You know, she looks the part. I don't... I mean, she's kind of up in the air for me. Because, like, I really like Catwoman. I am a Catwoman fan. Um, I love me some Selena Kyle. Because um, I think she's very um, complex character that um has so many different layers and i hope she can bring it to light now this may be an unpopular opinion but um when uh dang it what's that girl name princess diaries girl um <laughs> uh shoot what is her name uh anne hathaway anne hathaway when she was catwoman in the dark knight rises her performance did nothing for me nothing she was okay. I mean, that could have been writing direction, but I I, I, it, I didn't get Catwoman vibes from her at all. So, so well, Zoe Kravitz, she ain't got a whole, you ain't got big shoes to fill unless you want to take it back to like, you know, the 60s, but I don't think anybody's doing that. So anyway, moving on. Good luck, Zoe. So, Paul Dano as the Riddler. Once again, Paul Dano, I am not that familiar with his work. Um, but I can just go off of the Riddler that they're, that they're, that they're doing. Like, like I prefer personal. I love the classic goofy cartoony Riddler wearing green and all this stuff. But under, but I understand this is noir and they're trying to do this whole serial killer bit. That's leaving clues that, um, um, some, uh, um, some serial killer did it back in the day. I, I can't remember his name, but I like that idea. I think that fits this universe really well. Green and cartoony would not have worked. So I like this gritty, dark, really darn right terrifying version of the Riddler. 
So um, I look, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this plays out as the main antagonist for the film. Last time he was a main antagonist, you know, Batman Forever. Yeah, Batman Forever with Jim Carrey. Granted, I personally like that movie. It, the movie is not good by any means, but I get enjoyment out of it, but whatever. I hope this Riddler is gangster. If it feels it, um, he's terrifying, so I, I'm all in. So now we got uh, Colin Farrell as the Penguin. Um, this was a very... It confused me a lot. First, when I first saw it on the teaser some time back, I'm like, yo, what did Colin Farrell do to himself? You let yourself go, baby. But of course, obviously, these are prosthetics. But um, I don't know what the Penguin's going to be really doing in this film. I feel I think he's like on the rise. He's not really the Penguin yet. Um, he's I don't think he's running the Iceberg Lounge or anything like that. I think he's like on the rise as a gangster. But um. I'm not sure what role he can actually, he, that he's going to actually be playing in this. Um, I feel like he's going to be playing second fiddle, but that's, that's okay, I guess. Um, I like the action sequences um, that I see him in when he's like in a car chase. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a hot second, but, but I'm not sure where Penguin's going to fit in with this type of story, but I'm curious to see how this plays out. So I'm looking forward to it uh jeffrey wright as um commissioner gordon or captain gordon i don't know what gordon he is in this one but i once again I, I i've got no problem with jeffrey wright or any or anything like that but i i just hope he i hope hey, man, he's a fine actor i've seen his work in um what was that uh westworld and um and something else i'm not a huge fan of his work but uh but you know he's a fine actor I hope he does well and but once again i'm confused on what kind of gordon we have is this a seasoned gordon is this new i'm not not new but like he's still not as seasoned as a veteran cop not sure how all that's going to fit in so that's just because of lack of information but i'm sure it'll be fine i hope i hope it's i hope i hope it's excellent so uh one thing that really stood out to me oh, is yeah. the batmobile um like i saw it in the teaser before but in the trailer I really, really am starting to like this design. I'm liking the old school American muscle. I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Um, I feel like it's a maybe it's a Dodge Challenger or some old Chevy. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm not a car expert. I'm not going to sit there and pretend, but I like the gritty, dirty, grungy, tough um, um, era of those vehicles, and I think it's fitting this universe really well. So I'm really excited. For the Batmobile, and I, like, and I always try to, I, you know, you always compare them. So I was thinking about the Jalopy from 1989's Batman. It wouldn't have fit this universe whatsoever. And I know a lot of people, you know, everybody has nostalgia. So I mean, I'm, I'm with it, but I don't think that joint would have fit. I don't think any of these previous Batmobiles that we've seen in previous movies would have fit this universe well. But this grungy, low, dirty muscle car, I'm all in. So overall. I'm excited for this movie. I'm I'm excited for this movie. So I think March twenty second, twenty twenty two. I think it's coming out. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, I am legitimately excited for this movie. So what do you guys think? Do you are you are you folks excited about it? Um, do you not care? Um, how are you all feeling? Because I am legitimately excited. It's been a long time since I felt that way about <sighs> a lot of things. But yeah, so I'm excited. So, to add to said excitement, I have an announcement to make. Um, Trouble, the Rhythm Within Part 6. Check out the cover for it, my friends. Yes, 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 yes. Tell me what you think about it. I tried to capture that late 80s, early 90s vibage. Um, I, uh, I really like it. I really like this cover. Um, if you haven't checked out the entire series, I will leave links in the description section below. Check out the series. Tell me what you think of it. And tell me what you think about the cover. So, thank you for that, ladies and gents. So, that's all I really have for today. Um, so, once again, tell me what you think about the Batman trailer. So, all my good people, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And follow me on all those dope social media platforms over there. And I will catch you all next time. Also, if you want to support my channel, 
uh, check out spinwiz.com or download the spinwiz app and check out my comic series trouble it was written with a lot of love and it was definitely my favorite comic series to write i've also written it in english and in spanish so whatever floats your boat i got it for you thanks again and check it out